Hi, welcome to my Nollywood diary. My name is Janelle. Imagine, I was jubilating the other day that the lockdown has been eased in Lagos, Ogun and Abuja, the FCT, thinking we would enjoy the same fate, but our governor gave us a shocker, if you see panic again. <laughs> Anyways, I just had to continue the sequel from last week, which was Wives on Strike. So today is Wives on Strike, The Revolution. I really liked the first sequel, but I've got major fears on the second one because Nollywood really gets it right with sequels. The sequels are more of an afterthought. It's like, oh, because my movie has hammered, let me hurriedly do another. But most times, they just kill a good movie with that sleazy move. If part two was never in the plan, it's not by force now. Hmm. Well, will this one fall into that trap? Um, find out. This time, the movie centers on domestic violence, unlike his predecessor, child marriage. The market women lost their friend, Mama Beatrice, to the cold hands of death, only to realize later that it was her husband, Papa Beatrice, who beat her to death. They needed him to sing his guilt because they understood how the system works, so they called in Shaka of the underworld to shake him up. He was kidnapped and beaten. IJ, his interrogator, had prior relations with him, which he capitalized on. He insisted on his innocence, confessed his love for her, and promised to marry her if she helped him escape. Meanwhile, it was someone dear to him that blew the whistle on him. So the market women and other women went on strike again. You know now, no more Jangonova because they wanted the government to step in and end domestic violence. Some of them were already victims and for some, it was their husbands who were victims. Well, all of these activities, especially with the trip to London and all, Mama Ingozi began to nurse the idea of going into politics but her husband. At the end of the day, will Papa Beatrice sink like a canary or he will elope with IJ? Will the women's strike be successful? Was Mama Ingaz's political request granted by her husband? If he did, can an uneducated market woman be a local government councillor? Oh, lest I forget, the senator had been nursing a deep secret for two years and had to let his wife in on it. The subject of the secret was something his wife yearned for deeply and uh, him too, Sha. But will she forgive him? Will their marriage stand it? This movie wasn't finely interwoven. So many plots seeking for attention, little focus. One minute it was about domestic violence, the next child marriage, then politics, women rights and empowerment, only one movie, ah uh ah. -uh. I just couldn't put a finger on the exact theme in the movie. As with the mistake of the first sequel, little details were missed. And, um... Let me, let me not go there. This movie is just a letdown of his predecessor. I just wonder how the series would look like. I didn't really see the activeness of the man, the impact of the strike, neither did I feel deeply the major theme of the movie, which was domestic violence. The words were the movie was entertaining just for laughs <laughs> because it lacked depth. The only character that made it worthwhile was the long truth Iyabola, played by Tony Abraham, the woman Sha. <laughs> Can you get me to give us something to shop? Me, I'm hungry, and all of them too are hungry on our beach. Yeah. Oh, that's not a problem. Grace! Grace! Yeah, you don't worry, it's alright. Grace! Grace! Shut up! Ha! I rate this movie a two star. If you've seen the movie before, you can drop your comments so we can talk more. Please follow my social media handles.